everyone it's me back again so today i'm going to be talking about how to create a really quick smoky eye because i've been asked this a lot and i know a few of you um, have been messaging me about um please just show me a really quick easy method how to do this so that's what you're going to get today so i have my eyeliner tattooed on um i obviously as many of you know i specialize in permanent makeup so my eyes have already got an eyeliner on um i don't know if you can actually see kind of close up but this is kind of how i look with no makeup on um so if anybody wants to direct message me about anything about that procedure it really is a great way especially in times like this of something to have done you've maybe not thought of having done before um but it just kind of frames your eyes but anyway enough of that so my first step is i'm just going to talk to you a little bit about products now, I'm a great fan of palettes. I never used to be, um, and your products change. What I would say with any eyeshadow product or any eye product that you're getting, this is the time to invest in a good quality one. Because pigments in eyeshadows, um, you will sometimes find, if many of you maybe bought the you know, the less expensive ones where they're quite chalky texture, um, you will find that the pigment in them isn't as strong. So you, you might have seen before where you feel like you've got to put loads on or you just can't get that colour, um, what it looks in the palette. This is maybe one of the reasons why. One of my philosophies with makeup is about layering. Now, I'm really into layering products and making the products stick to your skin to not just one last longer, but to stop the eye from creasing and to give you, again, that really true colour what to expect. Okay, so I'm just going to show you um, now a couple of my favourites. So I'm going to teach you a little bit like a step-by-step -step, like you used to do at school and a little bit like paint-by-numbers kind of um, formula. I just think when we're actually teaching, I want you to be able to do this at home yourself. Not This is not about me and me looking amazing and doing a really elaborate makeup. This is about me simplifying this for you in very easy stages. So, step one is concealer or eye primer. So we're just gonna very, very quickly, don't spend too long on this either because this is just something which should be done very, very quick. And all we're doing here is prepping the eye area as a base for other things which are gonna go on top of this to give a true colour, to stop things from creasing. And remember, we're talking about layering. We're very into layering um, products quite thinly rather than too much all at once. So this just gives a really great base for anything else, what we're going to do on the eye to stick to and the colour will be a little bit more true to colour as well. Okay, so that's just the concealer. I'm just going to go over and just blend this out and smooth it over because I don't want it too heavy. Just be careful you don't put too much on. So it's literally about undercoating all of the eye area. And if you notice, I've done all of the eye area. I haven't left any out. And there's a reason for this when we come to add the rest of the colour okay so that's step one which is prep step two is i want you to get highlighter so whichever colour is your lightest colour your highlightery colour i'm using this nars palette and i'm going to be using this colour here if you can see there this one so what we do with this using a flat brush is i'm going to just highlight my brow bone and when we apply this colour, we're more or less patting it in. If you notice, I'm not kind of doing like this with a round brush, it's a flat brush, because I want this eyeshadow to stay in this area. Now this seem, this will probably seem a bit strange at first, but trust me, this will all come together at the end. This is almost like a bit of a safety net for you, because what I find is, when I'm teaching people, the amount of people where in the past, You've probably done this yourself where your eyeshadow ends up up here and you just end up with a really muddy mess and you lose the lightness up here. So this is why I'm getting you to do that here. And I also want you just to do it in this inner corner. Now, I'm not personally into this like real white dot kind of funny thing going on um, on there. I really believe that colour should blend through and they should look like they're supposed to be there. Not like a little afterthought kind of thing. But lighter colours will actually help to open your eye up. Darker colours will tend to draw things down. So if you want to ever highlight and emphasise an area, make it look bigger, we would always use a lighter colour. However, there is an exception to the rule, which I'm going to show you here. So it's all about light and dark. So see here, I'm just literally patting that in here, and then I've done the same 
on this side and just to recap the brow bone I haven't gone all the way along I've literally just gone on the arch of the brow and on the arch of the brow and I'm going to leave that I'm not blending that at this stage everybody all right with that one great we'll move on step three this is where we're going to add the dark smokiness using this is the Laura Mercier pencil you can use a Kajal stick which you can get from Boots or anywhere like that but just for the purpose of today I'm going to be using um, this caviar stick in smoke so it's almost like a, a dark grey kind of colour okay now these this kind of pencil you can use this with like a gel liner or something as well if you wanted to um, but this is just a really quick easy way of doing a dead quick smoky eye so what I'm going to do is just along here along the eye line I am going to be adding the pencil and just this is really soft so it will blend in now I'm not taking it right to oh great I've just got a big blob on my nose excuse me there there we go um I'm not taking it right into the inner corner of the eye because I'm going to show you something a little bit later on. I don't want that to go right into the corner. So if you're doing this, almost like stop here and then bring it out. And when we're looking at eyes, we would always look to lift up the eye. Don't do the colours straight out. If you have ever done an eyeliner and you draw it straight along and then you open your eye and then the eye, eye line is down here, it's because you're not lifting the outer corner. So what I want you to do is not do it too far along, but we're creating almost like a little triangle section. Can you see there? And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna fill in. So I want the outer area of the eye, the corner of the eye to be thicker and heavier than the inner corner. So it's almost like you're doing a thick eyeliner. Don't worry too much if it's really neat or not neat at this stage, okay? And then we're going to be doing the other eye. Now, personally, when I work, and especially on myself, I like to do one eye, then the other, as in work simultaneously. It's a big word, isn't it? Um, I like to do one bit on one eye, then go over to the other eye and do the same. Because if not, what you sometimes find is that you'll forget. You'll almost forget what you've done. And then you'll do one eye complete and then you go to the other eye and you're like, oh crap, I can't do that. So we've done um, this with the pencil. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to blend this in. So I'm just going to use like a small roundy brush and I'm just going to literally blend and smudge this colour in really quickly. The secret really is in the blending. It's like with anything. The more you blend, the better you blend the better you look. And this is, if you remember when you were at school and you used to do shading with a pencil, so you start off dark and then it will get lighter and lighter and lighter. Well, just imagine that's kind of what we want to create on your eye. So if you've noticed, I've not done much smudging on the, um, on the inside, like on this bit here. I want to keep this really quite dark here. But what I'm doing is just blending this out. Okay, so I always tend to work outside in and then inside out, a bit like a windscreen wiper kind of thing. Because what we don't want to do is end up too far up here. And I'll tend to find if you're out of control and you start and do this, before you know it, your eyeshadow's got right the way along here. So just be on, in control of the space of the area, what you're working. But you see how that's building up really nicely. Okay, and that's literally just how long at this stage you need to spend on that see there okay so on to the next one so again we're just blending out what you probably find amazing with this is actually how far this goes when you think you've just put a small amount on and how far your blending can take your shadow out and that is really for me one of the great things about doing good blending just keep going the brush which i was using was obviously a clean brush there was nothing on it and that is always a great thing when you're using a blending brush. Um, just make sure that it is clean, you don't have anything on it. Because what we want to do is blend the shadow you have on already. Not add um, something what was on there, which will change the colour. Okay, can everybody see that now? Yeah? So don't worry about these corners um, quite yet. It doesn't really matter if you go a little bit out on that or they look a little bit uneven at this stage. That doesn't really... Um, we're not too concerned about that because I'm going to show you a few little quick ways to crack that. So, 
yeah you can see it already starting to take shape a little bit can't you okay so that's your next step so your next step is we're going to be adding and i'm going to use the night porter just to show you um what a really great look this is so you can create a smoky eye without it having to be black so i'm just using a small round brush again for this and i'm just patting it over the area where we've just put the dark apart from right at the base of the eye so i'm literally just patting that in now this gives quite a shimmer to it as well so it's a really great look for an evening obviously i wouldn't walk around asda with this on mind you might be quite fun mightn't it right now to do something like this so i'm literally just patting that in there can you see what a gorgeous color that gives you it's just a, a little variation but you see how quick this is you don't have to spend ages doing this it's if you're going to spend time spend it on your blending which is what we're going to do in a second okay so that's your next step remember we said about layering products because we have the um the cajal stick underneath this literally you'd hardly need any product on here and it will stick and it'll be true to colour. So now the next step is I'm just going to blend out and I'm going to use a slightly different colour to blend out. I'm going to use this slightly peachy colour because I quite like the look I want it to go from dark and then gradually getting lighter. So I'm just going to be using a slightly bigger brush, a round brush here. Always just dust off the excess of your eyeshadow as well. And I'm going to be doing this on this middle section all the way in. So I want you just to place it first. And again, I'm kind of patting the product in because I want to be really in control as to where that colour is going to go. Okay. Can you see that there? So we've just got a little variation in here on this middle section here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to be blending outwards with this. Now this is probably one of my favourite brushes, this is an iconic brush and this is like a blending brush but it's quite a flat brush but it is just so great to blend out with. So what I'm doing is, if you notice I'm not going from the base of the eye, I want that to stay the colour what it is. So what I'm doing is on your next section I'm almost blending from this part to this part. But because I've put the highlighter here, I'm not going to go into that section. It's almost like I'm not allowed to touch where that highlighter is. And this is a great way of keeping that area nice and light for you. So just in small circular mo motions, in and out. Remember the windscreen wiper? Inwards, outwards, you're going to get a really nice kind of um, blend just to almost take the corners and the edge off where we've placed them shadows just to give a really lovely kind of blend through there. Can you see that? Okay. And then the same on the other eye. So just small circular ins and outs. Not allowed to touch that corner. If you remember. Not allowed to go in here. And that way we've got a really nice blend there. Right. So that's your glam eyes done. Hopefully you've learnt something there. So you can do smoky eyes with a little bit of difference. They don't always have to be black, as long as they look kind of the difference between dark and light. So you can see here, can you can you understand now why I got you to leave that bit out and almost do that as a, a little safety net at first. If we'd done it after, it wouldn't have been as clean and highlighted as that because you would have probably ended up with your eyeshadow up here somewhere and then it's really difficult to remove once you've started it. It's always better to add. So hopefully you've enjoyed today. Um, thank you for sort of all your comments and it's great to hear that these are keeping you going. Um, make that a little bit of effort um, and just really stay safe. And if there's anything in particular what you want me to show you from here and now as well, please just direct message me. I'm always available um, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye.